Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today I have something very exciting to share with you. I'm going to show you how to set up HDMI output support on your RG350 so you can hook it up to a large screen TV and play games just like this one. There's more ship. This first step is optional, however I've never shown it in a video. We're going to make a copy of the internal firmware micro SD card and write it to our hard drive. So basically remove the four screws, remove the firmware micro SD card right from its internal slot, and then you want to download Win32 Disk Imager from this URL here. I'll put a link in the description below. Then click download and install it, and after you do that, then you want to go ahead and fire up Win32 Disk Imager, select the location where you want to create your image file, and then click Open, then click the Read button, and this will take the contents of the micro SD and actually write it to your hard drive. Once that's completed, go ahead and click OK and click Exit. Great! Now we can take the micro SD and pop it back in our RG350 and then put the back cover on and apply the four screws. Next, you'll want to go to wagnerstechtalk.com then scroll down until you see the RG350 tips page. So click here. Then scroll down to the table of contents and select the HDMI output support. From here, you'll find all kinds of information. First off, make sure you have a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter. Next, download the update for the RG350 or RG350M, depending on your device, and then click the download link. And once you see the download anyway button, go ahead and click it, and the download will start. Once downloaded, right click on the file that you just downloaded, right click, and I'm going to use 7-zip to extract the files here. Once extracted, double click. And then be sure and read the important note.txt file. It gives you a few updates on the various emulators and settings that you need to change. Once you do that, you can go ahead and connect your RG350 to your computer. And we're going to go ahead and take these OPK files and copy them to the RG350. I'll put a link up above if you need some additional details on how to do this. So we're going to go to the SD card and go to the apps directory. And I'm going to right click and paste the two OPK files into this directory. Next, you want to go to the Applications tab and look for the OS Update CN. From there, you'll see this prompt here where it says to make a backup, which if you followed the optional step at the very beginning, you've already done. So then we select Update and go ahead and press X and the update will begin. It'll take about two minutes for the update to run. Once it does, you'll see this dialog. Be sure and check it out, press the button, and it will restart your RG350. Once it's restarted, you want to go to the Settings tab and go to G Menu 2X and move down to the bottom where it says HDMI and toggle this to on. Now we can go ahead and connect up our HDMI adapter. So in this case, I have a mini HDMI to HDMI out female. So now we'll plug in the HDMI cable into the RG350 and into the monitor. In this case, I'm going to use an Alzai monitor. This was provided to me for review. One last step. Let's go into Dingix Commander and we'll scroll on down to Media and locate the original FBA.OPK down here. And then we'll switch over to the right hand side and go to the Media SD card. Well, SD card, there we go and go to apps and we're going to take the FBA RG350 OPK and move it over to the apps subfolder and then we're going to switch over to the backup subdirectory and I'm going to move the FBA.OPK the original one over to the backup directory that way if we ever need to restore it it's available 
There we go. Then we'll just go ahead and quit. All right, looks like everything's good. I think we are ready to go play some games. All right, so we'll pick up on the Daphne emulator that you saw at the very beginning, playing Space Ace. Since most of the games that the RG350 is emulating were actually meant for 4-3 aspect ratio, that's what I'm using in this video. Kimberly, come in. Are you okay? Oh, sure. I'm just kidnapped by aliens, that's all. I'll save you, Kimmy! Get me out of here! What you're seeing here is the raw video footage immediately as it comes out of the HDMI port. Wow. Alright, now we're going to move on to Miss Pac-Man on the NES. switch over to the Final Burn Alpha. Now this is the actual emulator that's included with the archive. And I really kind of suck at this game. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> yeah, I get out a lot here. move on to the Sega system and we're gonna play Sonic 3 And now we'll try some television with Astro Smash. Uh, wouldn't be any fun if we didn't try out the PlayStation, so... Yep, we are playing Gran Turismo. Awesome game. No, I haven't had anything to drink. <laughs> I just drive lousy. All right, now moving on to a classic, Asteroids. I love playing these classics. I don't know, they're so simple, yet semi-challenging. This one, not so much. Some of the others are. But it's one of the first games that I had at home that I really loved playing. Kind of tells you my age, I guess. <laughs> All right, now we're moving on to UAE for All. We're showing the Amiga workbench here. The Amiga was actually my second computer, so I have a special place in my heart for this system. <laughs> it's pretty neat. It's kind of crazy that you can now play it on a little handheld. All right, so we'll go ahead and go into the utilities here and double tap on Say. 
And I'm going to speed this up just a little bit because I'm a little slow typing with this little virtual keyboard. So I'm going to speed it up for you. And then we're going to hear it say something. Ready? Hello. There you go. Audio works fine. Pretty cool. Gyrus. Another classic arcade game. I, I don't recall the exact year this came out. I think it was like 83, maybe. The audio is not 100% perfect here. I think it actually sounds a little better without going through HDMI. So I think there is some improvements that can be made to the, the audio. You do need to set the frequency to 44K before you launch the emulator. Again, go back through the notes that are included in the archive. There are some tweaks for various emulators. Alright, so now we're going to play The Simpsons. I'm going to play as Bart. Watching The Simpsons. <laughs> this is an awesome game, awesome show. We've reached the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful and that you'll be able to get this set up easily on your RG350. Huge shout out to DIY Game Mods who created this update. Thank you so much. I honestly never thought we'd see this for the RG350. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you click the like button to let me know. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I shall talk to you very soon.